Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Tony'sPicks.com. It's time for an NHL rundown. All 11 games on the card here by our professional handicapper, Steve Duncan. You'll find him over at Tony'sPicks.com where you can pick up his premium picks up. Off again, another really good day yesterday on the site. So you guys want to make sure you get signed up with him. Uh, college basketball was really hitting. So let's go ahead and bring him in right now and catch him over at Tony'sPicks.com. We'll welcome in Steve uh, Duncan. Ready to roll here. Steve, how's it going tonight? Excellent. Having a great day. Uh, college has been really going well today. Uh, NHL has been doing pretty well as well. Uh, hit, hitting lots right now. And uh, it's going to be a fun card tomorrow. A lot of interesting games. So let's get into it. Let's get into it indeed. This 11-game card will begin here with the Islanders and Red Wings. We see the Red Wings laying minus 112, total 6.5. Yeah, the Red Wings got to have this game. I, I don't trust the Islanders right now. I, I don't really trust the Red Wings either. But at home in this spot, I think what's happening here with uh, Patrick Waugh is, is he is trying to find out who he's going to keep at the end of the year. Patrick Waugh is a system that he believes it's going to win. And it's a puck moving, uh, high transition game. And there's a lot of players on the Islanders that are not up for that. And we're starting to see it. Now, the Red Wings, um, they, they struggled quite a bit up until this game. But going up against the Islanders at home in an absolute need-to-win spot, I just feel like they got, the, they got the guts. Not only that, they got the veterans that are going to be able to push them through. So I'm going to take the Red Wings money line here. All right, uh, Steve Duncan, get his screen plays over at Tony'sPicks.com. Click the link below for it. Islanders at Red Wings. The Red Wings here at minus the 112. All right, let's continue here on our NHL rundown. Uh, next game up will be the Flyers and the Flyers and the Hurricanes. Uh, Hurricanes minus 238, total of six. Tortorella sat their captain last game. Sat Atkinson, sat a bunch of their veterans. And uh, I think it, people played too much into it. Like, he, it's not that they didn't like those guys. I think what he was trying to do is rest them up for this game. Because they were going to need some legs for this game. Couturier hasn't played, been playing all that great. Atkinson hasn't been really pulling out a lot of points. So it's pretty easy for him to say, you know what, they weren't producing, so we're going to take them out. But honestly... I think he was afraid of this game with Carolina because the Flyers really don't have the legs or depth to beat this team. They're going to need every inch of energy they have, and it ain't going to work. Hurricanes in regulation, minus 135. All right, Steve Duncan, get his best bets over at TonySpace.com. Flyers and Hurricanes, Hurricanes in regulation, minus the 135. All right, guys, looking for Steve's best bets. Just click the link in the description. And get over there and sign up. Use the promo code Tony T at checkout. You'll save that 20% off. All right, let's continue here on the next game here up on the board for Thursday. Will be Blues and Senators. A Senators minus 130. We see the total coming in here at six and a half. The way Bennington's playing right now, the Blues need this game in a big bad way. Um, the Senators can be really good. They can be really crap. I don't know what you're going to get from them, but recently. The Blues have actually played pretty consistent, especially with Bennington in that. So make sure you got the goaltender down. I can't see why Bennington wouldn't be in here. Huge game for the Blues. I'm going to take the Blues at the plus money. They're to right now. I think they're the better team. There you go. Let's see if I can get his best bets over at TonySpeaks.com. Blues and Senators. It'll be the Blues here at plus the 110. All right, let's continue here on our NHL rundown. We get to the next game here. It will be good one here between the Rangers and the Bruins. The Bruins minus 135, total five and a half. This is a tough one to cap, my friend. Uh, one thing I do believe that this is going to be slow out of the gates. I don't think the Bruins are going to come out trying to run, again, run and gun against the Rangers. That's a sure way to lose against the Rangers. Uh, the Rangers, on the other hand, coming in on the road, they'll probably try to set the pace, but I think the Bruins will shut them down early. So we'll get it under 
uh, first period. And this feels like a spot where the Bruins are going to get up, 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 up for this game. This is a playoff type atmosphere in Boston against the team that they may see in the playoffs. They're going to be giving her everything they got. And I think the Rangers will too, but I think Boston gets the better matchup at home here and ends up pulling it out. So I'm going to take the Bruins minus 135. Although I have to say, I think that number is a little, it's, you're paying a little more of a price than you should here. This should be closer to a pick em, but I still think Boston's going to win. All right, Steve Dutton, get his best bets over at Tony'sPicks.com. Rangers and Bruins. It'll be Bruins minus 135 and first period under one and a half at minus the 140. All right, guys, looking for Steve's premium plays. He's been doing great work over at Tony'sPicks.com. Click the link in the description. Get right over there and use that promo code Tony T at checkout to save that 20% off. All right, let's continue here on our NHL rundown. Next up will be the Jets and Devils. Uh, Devils, uh, the underdogs here, Jets on the road, minus 125, total of six. I believe the Devils are coming up, coming off of a road trip. I'm just going to make sure that I have that right. No, no, they, they just played Pittsburgh. Um, the Jets are just a shutdown team all day. The Devils haven't been able to score very much as of late. Um, they've had very difficult time scoring. They're not getting much transition from their defense. And I think they're worried a lot about making sure they're taking care of their goaltender. Because their goaltending hasn't been all that great. And what happens is, when a, even an offensive team, if they're worried about their goaltender, they tend not to take risk on the offense and their goal scoring goes down. The Jets are always trying to shut down a team. So I'm going to go the under in this game. I think the Jets would be happy with the draw. They'd be happy to shut them down as much as they possibly can. Um, and keep it close just to at least get a point. So I'll take the Jets. I'll take the under in this game. All right, to see if I can get his premium plays over at TonySpace.com. Justin Devils here, Jets Devils under a total of six. And they also said Jets there as well. All right, let's continue here on our NHL rundown here. Get you every pick on the board here for the games on uh, Thursday. And of course, reminder, uh, looking for Steve's premium plays. Just find him right now when you click the link in the description and the promo code Tony T at checkout will save you the uh, 20% off on his premium plays. Let's continue on here on our NHL rundown. Next up will be Predators and Panthers. Panthers minus 192, total six and a half. It's really hard for me to go against the Panthers. Really hard. But I really, really, really love the way the Predators are playing right now. Um, they're coming balls out about against every single team. I think this is going to be crazy tight. Uh, the Panthers have been shutting down teams left, right, and center. I think they'll continue to do so here. They're going to play a strong defensive game against the Predators. Predators are probably going to come out balls out in the first period and find out that's probably not the way to do it. But they'll find a way. They've been finding a way. And I think they may find a way here. Tough one to take against probably the best team in the league. But I think the Predators might just get her done. All right, Steve Duncan. Find his plays at premium plays at TonySpace.com. Predators and Panthers likes Predators plus 160 and under six and a half goals. All right, let's continue here on our NHL our rundown. Next up will be Sabres and Oilers. Oilers minus 218, total of six. I got this in at a six and a half. Sorry, guys. If you're doing this video right now, um, I got it in as a six and a half. Uh, Buffalo, this is going to be a, uh, a extremely tight game. I doubt very much the Oilers are going to want to run and gun with Buffalo here. Um, it's also really not the best spot for the Oilers as they have, if I remember correctly, Toronto after this. So... I think they're going to keep it close. I really like this Buffalo team. Find out tomorrow. Come on, come and come and join me over at Tony's Picks. I'll tell you what the side is. I'm kind of like going back and forth, back and forth, because I could see Buffalo maybe pulling this out. Edmonton just had a real. I had the over in the Montreal game, 
and they won 3-2. Um, I think they're going to play a similar game here against Buffalo because if they're going to lose against this team, it's probably because they're going to go high offense. And I think they're going to want to rest their top guys if they can, especially if they get up early for the Toronto game that they have to go to after this in Toronto. So, give me the under. Long-winded way of saying give me the under. However, I'm going to have a freaking line on this. I'm going to I'm going to have a pick on this as far as the side is concerned. I'm just not totally there yet. All right, Steve Duncan, get his best bets over at TonySpace.com. Sabres and Oilers. It's Sabres and Oilers under total of six goals. And, of course, you want to get those premium plays from Steve. You see there on the, on the banner here, click the link below for his best bets. You'll find a link directly to his handicapper page. So click it, get signed up, promo code Tony T at checkout. We'll save you that 20% off. All right, let's continue here on our NHL rundown. Next up will be the Blackhawks and Ducks coming in here. We see the Ducks minus 122 total coming at six. Um, the Ducks just have no heart at all. If, if you got to take a, any pick on this, you might as well go with the plus money. I think Black. I think the Blackhawks have more character in their room than the Ducks. This is a character game. Um, the Ducks have probably a more offensive talent, man for man, than the Hawks. But the Hawks have more heart than the Ducks in um, of. Everybody has more heart than the Ducks. There's no heart on this team. They're they're already on the golf course halfway through the game, and I don't see that with the Hawks. You got a great coach with Richardson. They may not have a lot of talent, but they sure as heck play with some pride. And I don't see any pride with the Ducks. So give me Blackhawks on the money line at the plus money. Here you go, Steve Duggan, get his best bets at TonySpace.com. Black Ox and Ducks is on the Blackhawks here at plus the 102. All right, let's continue here on our NHL rundown here for the 11 game card on Thursday. As we get ready here for our next game here on the board will be Canadians and Canucks. Canucks minus 298, we see the total six and a half. Canadians are on a Western road trip, man. Their legs are going to be tired in this first period. The Canucks, I don't trust them to win, though. I don't trust them to win in a full game. If you've been watching the Canucks, if you're watching hockey, you watch the Canucks right now, they don't look like they're very, they don't give me a confidence that they can pull out a game. At minus 298, <laughs> ah, no, nah, not going to do it. Canadians... Canadians really have more heart right now, and they might be able to pull this out. But I do think the Canucks are going to come correct in the first period. Rick Tockett gave them a shellacking, shellacking after the last game. At the very least, they should come out with a pile of energy. And the Canadians being on the road the way they've been, it's probably going to take them a little while to get their legs. So give me the minus point five in the first period at minus 115 for the Canucks. All right, Steve Duncan get his premium plays over at TonySpeaks.com. Canadians and Canucks. In this one, he's got the Canucks first period puck line laid at half goal at minus the 115. All right, let's continue here on our NHL rundown. Next game on the board will be Lightning and Sharks. Lightning, 375 on the road, total six and a half. Yeah, I, I totally get why this is minus 375. I would have placed it at that as well. Lightning are trying. They're, they're in play out right now. Um, I don't see any letdown spots here. They're wanting to get every single game. And I do believe, I'm going to take a quick look here. Uh, yeah, they just played Vegas. They got LA tomorrow. Yeah, it might be a little bit of a letdown spot, but the Sharks just blow. They are just absolutely horrible. They're mailing it in all day. And uh, Tampa's winning games right now, and they're going to keep on winning them. And I don't think they're going to take San Jose lightly. And any team that has any decent team that has offense against this San Jose team that basically has nothing in their lineup right now, should destroy them, and I think Tampa Bay will do just that. So we'll go alternate puck line, Tampa Bay 
against the San Jose Sharks. Here you go, uh, Steve Duncan. Here you'll find this premium place at TonySpace.com. Lightning and Sharks. He's got alternate puck line. Lightning laid the two and a half goals at plus the 120. All right, let's continue here on our NHL rundown. As we're ready here for our next game here on the board, it will be the Kraken and Golden Knights. Golden Knights minus 192 with a total of six. Golden Knights haven't been able to get keep pucks out of their net uh, as of late. They've been having a difficult time with their defense. And if you look on paper, that should not be the case at all. However, they brought in some new people. They've had to change things up quite a bit. They've had injuries. I think they're just trying to get into the groove. This could be the night that they get her all together and then just shut the Kraken down. It's very possible. Um, the Kraken haven't scored a lot the last couple games, but a lot of that has to do with the fact that they thought that they could still make the playoffs. Every one of those games were their season almost, it felt like. So they were holding their sticks pretty tight, trying to grind out games. Now they're going up against the Golden Knights, and they know they're out here. There's there's no doubt in my mind. If you watch the last game, and I can't remember who they were playing, but halfway through the game, you could look. You looked in their eyes, and you saw the frustration because they knew they're done. So what are you going to do against the Golden Knights here? Are you going to come out here and try to shut them down? Is your are your coach? You're going to say, hey, let's shut down the Golden Knights tonight? No, man. Let's go out and have some fun, score some freaking goals, man. You never know. We might be able to make the playoffs in some miracle, but at the very least. We can go out and skate and have fun with the Golden Knights. Maybe we can take them. I don't think they will. I'm not going to get here, though. I'm just going to take the over six. All right, uh, Steve Duncan, get his premium place at TonySpitz.com. Cracking Golden Knights. Golden Knights in regulation, minus 120, and over total of six goals. All right, we got you through here this NHL card here for uh, a Thursday, 11 games on the board. And, of course, uh, Steve, let's take a look over at TonySpicks.com, heading into a pretty big uh, week here of action. And we see Steve enjoying a great uh, year in the past seven days in the NBA, also coming off a monster day over the past 24 hours, showing 280 units of private all sports combined. We've got a uh, big hockey card on the board, lots of college hoops, NBA on the board as well. What do you have going over at TonySpicks.com for Thursday? Uh, this this get, we're getting into that great time for sports, aren't we? You got March Madness coming up. You got baseball coming up. Hockey playoffs coming up. You want to get over? You want to get over to my site there? Get yourself a monthly pass. We're hitting like cray cray. We're having a great time. I'm going to have some best bets. I'm pretty sure I had my best bets today. I can't even remember what they were, but we're usually hitting them. So you might for... For like 19 bucks or something like that, you can take my best bets. Highly recommend. I'm a high volume guy. I don't know how many how many picks did I put in today? Like 15 or something like that. I put in a lot of picks. Okay, so if you want to take my best bets? That's cool. But if you want to really really make money, you take all my picks. I hit at 60 to 65 percent over a season. You're always making money. We're always having fun, and uh, I, I generally do a lot of plus money plays. I got some packages I'm going to probably put out tomorrow. I'm definitely going to have at least one best bet for hockey, maybe two. It all depends on the goaltender situation. And as far as college is concerned, I'm going to have at least one there. And NBA has been hitting so well. I got to start putting some more best bets on that. Um, I've been really hitting well in NBA. So you're going to get a whole lot of action. Come on over and enjoy the fun. That's right, guys. Got to go with uh, uh, Steve Duncan over at Tony'sPicks.com. Doing great work as we've shown you there with the results with the units here. Big day yesterday as well. Uh, no better time to get on board right now with Steve. Now, you'll find his link in the description. When you do that, you'll land right on his handicapper page. There you'll be able to get his long-term pass. You see three days, seven days. Uh, 30 day, one year, you make the call there. There'll be all this pre in place. You, you, when you make the purchase, you set the time period there, as you can see here. We'll save you some money when you use that promo code Tony T at checkout. You can access Steve's page by clicking the link in the description. Click the All Cappers tab, and you'll land right here on his page. Go ahead and get signed up to his premium pick packages, the long term pass. Remember that one month pass gets you the entire NCAA tournament. 
as well as hockey until the start of the playoffs, NBA into the play-in round, and of course baseball. We'll have about uh, three weeks of baseball with that one month pass, so we'll have no better time now with all these sports overlapping to get the uh, all one month pass, all sports pass. Save you a lot of money, then instead of buying all the picks individually, that's the way to roll there. All right, Steve, it's always uh, great having your show. Continue that great success, and we'll catch up with you again tomorrow. Will do. Enjoy the game. All right. For Steve, I'm Tony T. We'll catch up with you guys again tomorrow.